Ayo hey, bros, what's up? Roblox Giant here and today we're gonna talk about the 15 best Roblox zombie games to play in 2021. But anyways, let's go into this week's question. What is the name of the director of the classic zombie film that started all the zombie films, Night of the Living Dead? You know the drill. Just comment what's the answer to this question and get your comment liked and pinned. The answer's hidden somewhere in this video. Alright, let's go. The Apocalypse. In the apocalypse, you need to survive as long as you can and stay awake for as long as possible until 7 a.m. There's a lot of infestation going around and the infected aren't just gonna sit idly by and wait for you to come out of hiding. The zombies will actively seek you out and you need to find food and weapons to stay alive and stay human. Barricade yourself and wait until nightfall to fight all the infected that are going to eat your brains out. Dead Slate. Dead Slate is one of the best semi-realistic zombie shooters out there. It's immersive and detailed gameplay will make you want to live in a zombie world. So long as you have a gun, that is. You're going to be fighting hordes upon hordes of zombies. But it's not just the zombies that are your enemies. Humans are also your enemies. Which, unfortunately, choose the losing side of the zombies. The maps are pretty great and detailed and every round lasts for about 6 minutes. You think you can last that long? Think again. Nah, kidding. Dead Slate is pretty fun and you should definitely check it out. Zombie Strike. You can't expect God to do all the work of purging all these unholy creations. In Zombie Strike, the objective is simple. Kill all the non-humans. You're gonna be fighting tons and tons of zombies in this game, as well as the bosses. The game features a nice level up system, as well as being able to get powerful weapons so you can send these poor souls to an early grave. I mean, they got up from their early grave, it's your job to put them back. Zombies Recoil I ain't gonna lie, but Zombies Recoil, bro, that game is amazing. The models are insane, it doesn't look like you're playing a Roblox game at all. The game's characters look a lot more like Fortnite. The gameplay is also pretty epic and realistic to an extent. I wouldn't really recommend having a potato PC for this game. Also, you can either go solo or multiplayer to experience the sick game itself. Go check it out. Zombie Uprising Zombie Uprising is yet another zombie survival game. In this game, you'll be able to experience a lot, and I mean a lot of content that it has to offer. Boss battles are top notch, and I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy any of it. For the rich boys out there, you can even look good and feel good while playing this game. It features a ton of weapon skins with over 40 different guns for the adults. The game is also pretty huge and massive, and has some of the best boss map selections out in all the games on this list. If you haven't played Zombie Uprising yet, you're really missing out. Apocalypse Rising 2 Apocalypse Rising 2, the better version of Apocalypse Rising, obviously is one of the best Roblox games out there. The game's mechanics revolve around scavenging for supplies, useful items, and everything that you need in order to survive. Not just a zombie threat, but also the players that are trying to do the same thing. Foreign groups or go solo. The choice is yours. Go check this game out. Quarantine Z Quarantine Z is your typical zombie survival game. Just like Apocalypse Rising 2, your goal is to survive, using whatever means necessary. Gather items and supplies, loot places, form groups, and kill players, drive cars, and most importantly, kill zombies. The game is also pretty nice for a PvP game, and it's pretty challenging to kill not just the survivors, but also the zombies that are always around. If you're out for the challenge, the game is your best bet. Those Who Remain those Who Remain is a pretty damn good wave-based zombie shooter. It's a survival game where you're gonna need to survive for as long as you can against waves upon waves of infected zombies coming right at you. Keep not just yourself, but your comrades alive. There are a lot of maps available in this game, and you can also get rewarded simply for logging in. Zombie Rush Zombie Rush is pretty much just like Those Who Remain. It's yet another zombie survival shooter, but there are no useful perks or classes. It's an endless wave survival game where you players need to die to reset the progress. Once you die, you'll spawn as a zombie, in which you'll turn on your previous allies. Each wave gets progressively harder, and the only way to win is to be one of them. Zombie Attack Pretty much just like Zombie Rush, except there are various types of zombies and bosses that are coming to get you and your friends. You have a lot of options to choose a weapon. I personally prefer melee weapons for close and personal kills. It features a lot of missions, cash to buy weapons, zombies, and even pets. In a zombie apocalypse, your pet is your best ally. Reason to Die Reason to Die is another wave-based endless shooter zombie game. The objectives are to complete various tasks to win whilst fighting zombies. The game is available in both single player and multiplayer. 
With over 30 plus guns and melee weapons, the zombies will be up for a beating or shooting. Zombies will constantly spawn, so better check your six and your ammunition. Don't forget to enjoy the game, of course. Zombie Task Force Zombie Task Force is a unique game. It's a zombie defense shooter, but also features a nice storyline to follow. You're not just blindly shooting zombies, since there's a narrative to begin with. There are a lot of unlockable chapters in this game, as well as featuring an infinite mode, where you can see how truly good you are. It features a lot of in-game missions, as well as quest lines. It's definitely one of the best zombie shooter games out there. So go out and try. You won't regret putting 500 hours in this game. Zombie Blitz Zombie Blitz is a pretty fun zombie survival game. It's pretty fun because it has a lot of game modes that you can rationally and rotationally play with your friends. There's also a story mode that you can host, in which you'll be able to play with six players in an endless zombie defense mode. It's decent, especially for casual, endless defense games. I can vouch for it, and you should go and try it out. MMC Zombies Project This game is another endless zombie co-op game. You can play with either eight random players or solo. This game is pretty realistic, featuring some real-life weapons. But zombies look generic as heck. Still, it's a pretty fun game overall. So you might as well try it out, have a lot of fun, and try to beat all other seven players you plan on inviting. I would say that it's one of my favorites on this list for sure. Field Trip Z Field Trip Z is a story-driven zombie action game. I didn't really put that much time into understanding what was going on, but the way they presented the game's narrative to tell the story of zombies, it is a pretty nice touch overall. There are also boss battles, as well as multiple endings in this game. I haven't been able to see all the endings, but I can guarantee you there are a lot of them, and they might surprise you for what they have in store. So again, check this game out, because you never know what they're going to throw at you. So, yeah. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Likes and comments are highly appreciated. Don't forget to answer this week's question to get your comment liked and pinned. Alright, Roblox Giant, at your service. Hey guys, we here at Roblox Giant really do appreciate what you guys do in the comment section down below. It shows that you guys care. Once you like and favorite, it helps boost our videos up in the YouTube algorithm. So please keep sharing amongst your friends on Discord, Twitter, Amino, whatever social media app, Snapchat, whatever you guys use, please keep sharing our content. We want to keep releasing the best stuff for you during quarantine. Because honestly, quarantine can get pretty boring. But anyways, that's all for now. Thank you guys for supporting and watching our videos. We really do appreciate it here again at Roblox Giant. Peace out. Have a great day.